I was gonna say something, but you forgot. Literally, it was two seconds ago. I thought of something to talk about. No. What is it, Edward? Are you gonna mention that I look like you like a blue cheese? With <laughs> and my face looks like a chipmunk. Um, I wasn't because I'm used to you looking like this. Got, so. got run over by a bus. I see. What yeah, do you mean? Not, like I don't. Just another day in the in the friendship of Edward's son. It's just me, you know. Um, you have to cost if you're gonna be friends with Edward's son, y'all. You have to be okay with the fact that he's gonna look like an abuse victim ninety percent of the time. I, All in the name of beauty, ironically. I'm just I'm very swollen because I got injected. It was injection. Yeah, I got like here, here. Do, do, do you just really realize like I'm really swollen there because girl, like yeah, I told you, just Botox and shit. At this point, it's just a matter of oh, what reason today is he be, is he swollen? What did he do now? I'm. Uh, you know, I'm an old woman. I need to, you know, at least look presentable from the outside. So looking like this yeah. is presentable? <laughs> no, it, this... Yeah, I'm actually presenting myself like this in front of everyone. But you guys won't judge, right? If you do, just... Um, I'm sure many of them are in the out. same boat where they're like, Oh, another day. Another... Um, another Edward not slay, but... <laughs> uh, but gee, I was looking through some posts that I saved on Reddit in one of them. I think I saved this because I thought... I wanted to talk about it, but someone was like, foreigner content in Korea is boring and monotonous. Foreigner content? Yeah, talking about... What do you mean by foreigner content? Whether I'm on TikTok or YouTube, content from foreigners is so bland and overdone. Apartment tour number 1,123,450, trying insert Korean food here for the first time, thoughts on racism, racism, etc., etc. Mm. Now, people might claim algorithms push this type of content and maybe it might be true, but there's a long-standing rumor that these types of contents are weighed heavier in the algorithm. The content in particular that sparked me making this thread are street interviews. By God, how many times are people going to go ask about racism in Korea? Is the general <laughs> opinion really going to change in one week? Oh, this person's funny. I actually generally agree with it. But it just gives me the, the feeling of, you know how in the early YouTube days, mm -hmm. uh, videos like how to insert a tampon or... Mm, how, to, how to remove hair on your anus with nair. <laughs> And no, that, shove your your gaping hole in the camera. That's in that the came name, very later in the name of education. Yeah, uh, mm. like things like how to clean your face with baking soda. Then very DIY mm -hmm. natured videos got yeah. viral in the very early two days, like ten years ago. Because I think the you know the the short form uh, videos platform like re shorts, reels, and um, TikTok got really popular in recent days. So I think. Just like it's like I think a, a, a cycle, like, yeah, a cycle again, just, yeah, just like in the beginning of YouTube, content like that would have been popular. Yes, um, the vibe of like clickbaitiness, uh -huh. I think, is starting to come back again because that's how it was on YouTube. Yes, kind of chilled off a little bit, um, became kind of cringe, but now with short form content, it's like tashi, and I think it's pretty obvious that that kind of stuff is really pushed by the algorithm anyway. Yes, because uh, content like that is usually what will have people commenting liking disliking which is what the algorithm wants when a post gets more engagement then it gets more uh, you know push the algorithm so i just find it lazy from the con from the perspective of a content creator mm -hmm. like how many more videos of, uh, are they going to make <laughs> especially because i feel like that's the type of thing where S street interviews about racism mm -hmm. yes because a lot of the thing is a lot of times they don't interview enough people to get a proper you know, mm -hmm. scope of the overall general opinion. And also they pick and choose which uh, interviews they put in. So obviously they're going to, they're going to want to put the ones that are the most spicy, right? But it doesn't, um, it doesn't necessarily represent everyone's opinion. Yes, I do agree. I, but I do like Asian Boss view. Oh, the Asian interview, Boss. Mm -hmm. Because I feel like inter Asian Boss does try to give you, a, like a, a, to, to interview a variety of people. Mm -hmm. Um, and uh, the topics are most of times uh, very educated. Mm -hmm. However, you know those how those interviewers like how much do you make in the month or <laughs> you know, those those kind of random. Uh -huh. I just feel, I don't like those. You don't like it, yeah, because there's Be not a lot of thoughts put into it. Like that type of content in general, or are you talking specifically about money related mm -hmm. ones. I feel like th those kind of style in general. Mm. I feel like they just like what you said. They don't low hanging fruit. Yes, they um they just um, go on the street and uh, interview some random people. They don't even like try to give you a, a, a sample of a variety of people's mm -hmm. opinion. They're just like usually Hongdae. Yes, usually Hongdae. They they just interview some random stranger and call it a day. I feel mm, like yes. Yeah. Just feel like I don't think the, those interviews are fake, mm -hmm. but I just feel like. It's just a waste of time watching it. I just think it's played out, to be yeah. honest. Oh, really? But yeah, I'm mm. just tired of it.
Oh, but I realize a lot of Korean interviews, mm-hmm. the they'll purposely interview someone who's already famous on SNS. Really? Yes. The algo bonica. If you will really realize it, that person is famous on Instagram or something. Mm. I have seen that type of thing with. There's a guy I follow. He just came back from the uh, the military. Uh, he he's kind of like a. He gives me the vibes of like he tried to audition to be an idol. Yen mm-hmm. nare didn't work out, so he just became like a dancer, like an instructor. Uh, but he went to the army, came back, and so now he's be do, he be doing like these weird like street interview style videos, but it's oh. about dance. So he'd be like, "How do you? How would you rate your own dance skill level? Like, what's your level? What's your dance level?" To? But it, a lot of the people he is interviewing, I follow them already on social media. I'm like, mm. "Why are you only interviewing like?" It's not. It's not even random people. It's literally people that already Staged. do social media. Like, um, you know, Kunin Kai TST. Yes, yes. He has two sisters. Uh-huh. Pai, she's in uh, Kepler, and the other one, Leah, Leah, Leah. She she does social media right now. I see. He was literally on there, and I was the style of the interview was supposed to be like she's some random person, but uh-huh. I'm like, what? <laughs> no, it's it's all contrived. Yeah. Well, I. Well, what example are you speaking of? I do you know those interviews and they ask some like. Usually, it's very attractive people. They ask you, "How do you rate yourself uh, in terms of um, way more, which is like um, outer appearance? Yeah, outer appearance uh, from one to one to ten. How do how would you rate yourself? Mm-hmm. Like those, they always interview really pretty people that's already famous on Instagram. Really, yes. they never. Well, we should do that. Let's interview the most like b- like random like. <laughs> but the thing is, pe- the most normal average people wouldn't want to be on camera like that. Yes. In yes. Korea. Um, they even interviewed, uh, um, I think, uh, contestant from Singles Inferno. Wow. Season two. But they tried to, the style was supposed to be like literally random street yes. interview. Yes. Girl, if you come to Korea, there are, to be honest, there are a lot of cute guys walking on the street. But um, a, cont- a contestant from Singles Girl. Inferno too? No. Did you see the latest uh, season? The contestants? Well, yeah, I did. Mm. I heard One of my friends ra- on there. Oh, Shout really? out to Minu. Uh-huh. Uh, who is him? Che Minu. Minu. Let me he see. literally, oh my god, the this co- is like the pipeline of everyone that's on that show. We're in, in. They don't do SNS very much to begin with. Um, Who would say? I don't think he was very popular on the show. I didn't watch the show this season. Didn't seem to be very popular. I, I don't see. think he's making waves. But um, I see. We're in SNS. I'm having the because he used to be a bottle, right? So just tall and really, really skinny. Mm-hmm. But out of nowhere, he started working out a lot. Which was out of character for him because I know as a model usually they don't really work out. Yes, they just maintain a really thin figure. Yes, but girl, she started working out. Next thing you know, he's on Netflix. Sing, uh, singles Infernal. But girl, like this, the I did see a few clips. And sis, why? Just as I expected, the vibes are so like as they're on the show, all they have on their minds is. Girl, the second I fucking get off this fucking show, I'm gonna fucking start up my new YouTube channel, channel or my fucking business. Start my Xiaohongshu. My, my, my online shopping mall. Girl, there's a lot of Koreans on Xiaohongshu now. Yeah, there's a lot. That I already follow on Instagram. <laughs> right after they got off from uh, Single Inferno, they will open their Chinese SNS account mm-hmm. and just make a lot of money from China. And honestly, business wise, they're doing it right. Get going on fucking Netflix and getting lots of followers and shit. But the, the nature of the show is to, to you know, to, to get date pop. someone, yeah. The nature of the show is to date someone, but yeah, they, they really don't be... Even for America, I don't feel... do. I don't know if I get that vibe of like, they're just trying to get clout to mm. start up social media. I think that's so very uniquely a Korean thing. Yes. I think um, in America, is they, you you do have things like reality star, mm-hmm. like reality celebrities, mm-hmm. reality show celebrities. Mm-hmm. However, um, in Korea, it just felt so much more commercial mm-hmm, mm-hmm. how uh, their their nature of being on the show yeah even just the, the <clears throat> nature of youtubers in korea yes. i feel like american youtubers they try to grow their channel and become big to be big on youtube yes but in korea they, they grow their channel to become big to become commercial later oh. to be famous outside of youtube like celebrities in korea mm-hmm. um because that they make money the real money comes from like brand deals being the models for yes. the first shit for brands. That's why you see all these content creators. Um, they suddenly, as soon as their faces go go up on Olive Young, yes, that's all. The vibe of their content completely changes. Yes. Yeah. Well, I guess a lot of people know this is already like what it is, but mm-hmm. it's still, still still got really popular. So I think I singles Inferno. Yeah, I the uh, I heard that singles Inferno three is very uh, inter- entertaining to watch. So okay. yeah, because there's a guy who is the villain. Mm-hmm. Um, the guy is a 
the basketball play, player. Basketball. Uh, yeah, and he has a very strong ego, and he thinks all the girls are into him. I only watched this first first episode, so I don't know, but I've read a lot of other people's review, and they specifically point out there's a scene where there are three girls. Mm -hmm. They were in their their tent, and they were talking about that guy about like how much ego he has and making fun of him, mm -hmm. and then people think、uh, it's quite funny that scene. So this is why I like not in solo because it、I、seems love, like it seems like、yeah. real people and they have genuine like real conversations. But I feel like on sing things like singles and far is all about just like random shit like that.、Mm -hmm. I am solo, which is another type of dating show、mm -hmm. in Korea.、Uh, it's I think it's only available in as you、uh, as you say you you really like it. I am solo is only available in Japanese and Korean、mm -hmm. Netflix、mm -hmm. because I was in、um, I was outside of、uh, Korea and I, I checked it out it in Japan. Yeah. I I couldn't I couldn't find it. Oh really? Yeah. So it's I think Netflix is quite different. But but if you want to watch it、mm -hmm. now, you can with <laughs> Shark VPN. <I'm> <laughs> We're not sponsored. Sorry, wait, sorry, sorry. I didn't even say the name properly. Yeah, Sharp Nord whatever. Nord yeah whatever. <laughs> Contact us already. <laughs> I don't think they will. They will never. <laughs> We still checking the the only emails we have in our mailbox、uh -huh. are the numerous emails we get from Google us trying to set up the,、uh, the AdSense. fucking AdSense. We are、uh, we are trying to make <laughs> our just ten bucks. Ah,、uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, it's more than that. Uh, yeah, it's like fifteen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. The coffee we order is like fifteen.、Hey. <laughs> well, uh, uh. as I am solo, the、um, the. Because the show got super popular、uh, nationwide,、mm -hmm. uh, so there, there, are, there has been like sort of wide changes in the show recently. Like people wants to come to Nanan Solo to get famous,、mm -hmm. just like the other shows. But still, do you, think, still, you see season one? Season one of Nanan Solo. Oh, you talk about Nanan Solo right now. Yeah, yeah.、Uh, vibes are changing. Yeah, because they're they're I go. the most recent、um, most recent season of I Am Solo. There is a、um, uh, retired already. Yobeu, like actress, really? Yeah, she pretended to to be like a normal person, and she's on the show. <laughs> yes, she says she she has a she's a restaurant owner.、Mm -hmm. She uh she's selling yukue, which is Korean beef tartar.、Mm, love it. Yeah, she she's the owner of Korean beef beef tartar restaurant, and she's super skinny, tall.、Mm -hmm. She looks like Lisa. Oh, that girl. Yeah, you know, you know、ah, that girl. Yeah, she really, really she does look like Lisa. Yeah, she's a, she's the former actress. Did the the producers didn't know this? Of course they know. I think <gasps> just put her on there to make. You know the the show more entertaining to watch. Really, but still the people on the internet found out. Yeah, they found out. Where did they recognize her from?、Uh, I I I didn't I didn't like look it into、mm. details, but、mm. yeah, she's a former、wow. actress for sure. And that's the amount of drama you get from Nan and Solo.、Yeah. That's it. <laughs> But still, I feel I feel like the nature of Nana Solo. Even though I know、mm -hmm. things like that is happening, but still, it's quite authentic. It's super. Yeah, yeah. it's like fifty to sixty percent authentic,、mm -hmm. which is already authentic enough. <laughs> to, honestly, for yeah. Korean media, yeah. yeah, and they're much older people. <laughs> yeah,、right? like in their thirties,、mm -hmm. and they're all like Jigjangin, which they、mm -hmm. ha all have a career and they're working somewhere instead of like, they are in you know, all like Instagram models. Yeah, yeah, like people who appears on. They um in singles inferno they are they are always like models or、mm, they're、yeah. basically all models. <laughs> <laughs> models. Models with、They're、trainers. Modeling what? Yeah, model. modeling what, bitch? Like skincare or girl. <laughs> After they spend all that fucking money at the people gua. Yeah. The one you know behind the scenes they be using the Dior, Chanel, La Mer creams and shit. But then on their and、oh, they're like, oh, soon mix, mix us、oh, so, up, mix soon. I don't know what the fuck it's called. Hold up. <laughs> oh my god, you're throwing shade to mix soon. I love Big Soon.、It. I never tried it.、Oh, yeah, <laughs> I remember they their new model. They have this new idol group as like their models,、mm -hmm. Exin,、mm -hmm. and Exin's、uh, company messaged me and they're like, "Can we please collaborate with you?" I was like, "Who's Exin?" Exin,、uh, da, 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 I don't know. I know XG. The、uh, XG. XG.、Uh, uh, they're five member girl group. One of them, there's two foreigners, and I felt so bad for the three Korean girls because the the two other girls like completely overshadowed them. It's like all the comments on their content、mm. is just about the two foreign girls. I would hate to be in that group if I was one of the Korean、uh, girls. I see where you、um, because the, the concept of the, the, that specific K-pop group sort of.、Um, Overshadows the the member itself.、Mm -hmm, people only、mm -hmm. see the concept and love、yeah. the concept, but they didn't realize there are actual you know people.、Yeah. This is why like Black Swan, Black Swan, yes.、Yeah. Be unique. 안녕하세요 Black Swan 입니다 I I didn't really listen to their music.、Mm, a lot. It's like、I、honestly,、see. it's the type of music you'll hear at King. Oh, then I will. I, will, I love Black Swan. Close to me. I love Black Swan already because they, they they used to be Rainia, isn't it? No. Ah,、uh, not that. Ah,、uh, yeah. 
They used to be Rainier, right? They used to, yeah. But oh. I consider that just a separate group. Oh, I see. Because all the members are completely different. Different? Yeah. You know? Oh, no wonder why they're now a different name mm-hmm. now. But I like Rainier, Dr. Feel Good. I love how whenever the conversation of Rainier comes out, it's only ever that song. <laughs> That's the only that song sucks. that got famous. Yeah. And it was such a good song. I who love, wrote it again? I have no, I have no idea. But oh. who, are, whoever wrote it is genius because... Dr. 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 Feel Good Make me feel real good. You, do, you can't even sing the song. Uh, it's I, your turn, Edward. Now oh, you, you said you love that song. Honestly, yes. I should know that song. Okay. Because I would watch all the, the stages too. Oh, um, this girl said he likes that song but he cannot even you know Dr. he doesn't even know the lyrics look look you know what i heard that uh because they on their stage they had they wore leather right mm-hmm. i heard back in the day uh girl their techie shoe would smell so bad why because uh, someone farted no <laughs> what no because of the mix of the leather plus the sweat from performing oh yeah because they gotta perform the like the rehearsal oh the, all that shit so oh that now i feel bad mm. because and you get it's not something you can just easily take on and off Right when you're hot, it's stuck on you until you take wow. it off. So, oh my god, I just it feels like those you know in maybe ten, or fifteen years ago in Asia, there there used to be a diet. It's called diet diet clothes mm-hmm. where you wrap yourself up, wrap yourself up, and then so you can sweat more. It's giving ah. that, yeah. So you can sweat more. Yeah, so mm. like it's like you're going into a sauna. Oh wow. Yeah, so you you wrap yourself with that clothes and then you do work out. It feels like that's my trainer. Like does because you know there's some people that will go to the sauna simply to sweat to lose weight. I was like, does sweating make you lose weight? He's like, no, of course not. Girl, it's water. Yeah. It just makes you dehydrated. It makes yeah. Um, I feel like those are just um. Ajumas, Korean Ajumas brainwashing themselves because Ajumas <laughs> goes to Jim um, Bang, which is mm. Korean sauna a lot and imagining themselves losing more weight by I sweating know. more. But honey... What they really need to do? The, the dance studio? Mm-hmm. Put on... Doctor, doctor, <laughs> feel good. Make me feel real, real good. good. Okay, this is good I know. Tonight. See, I know it. Okay. It looks like I won this time because last time hey. he was like over there accusing me not even know the song. So, ah. you know, try it, Sivan. Right. Did you listen to the song I told you to listen to? You didn't. I feel the rush. Nah, addicted yeah, to your two. What's the time where you are? Treat yourself. Uh, um, strawberries and um, girl <laughs> cigarettes. So yeah, would you ever be on? Oh my god, have you ever got the opportunity to be on? Have you seen Namione? Yeah, his, his I haven't seen watched it, but mm. I if they cast me, I wouldn't. I think I would be. I want kind of want to go beyond. That. I would be there just to start drama. <laughs> what kind of drama you want? You want to start me? Off with? Um, I want to be the one that points out everyone's bullshit because mm-hmm. you know me. I'm so familiar with like Korean media and the way people are fake as fuck. If I saw someone acting a certain way. I'd be the one that's like, well, you didn't say that during the blah, 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 blah. When we were off camera, you didn't say that. You want to be on there like pulling people's hair. Like, what did you say? Mm-hmm. And I'd be immediately eliminated on episode one. <laughs> Actually, no. This, uh, people get eliminated? <laughs> no, 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 it's not. Oh, I, I didn't watch the show. I don't know the rule. Yeah, no, they're not eliminated. But it's more like, uh, I think it's sort of, I didn't watch it. And correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it's the style of like uh, picking who goes on dates. And there's some people that don't go on dates. Oh. And shit like that, I think. Oh, it's, it's very like I am solo. A, uh, it's very like I am mm-hmm. solo. My ass would not get picked for a date. <laughs> well, you never know. Doctor, doctor, feel good. This is silly. Uh, you know, uh, just one more information. The producer of I Am Solo, he is a very famous uh, producer for making like matchmaking shows. Really? Yeah. Uh, uh, he's been making those kind of shows since like 15 years ago. Oh, wow. uh, the show is called Jack. Jack. J J A K. Jack. Jack mm-hmm. means like a couple mm-hmm. in like. A couple of things or just that means a couple mm-hmm. in korean and that show was super popular really? and that show's format is, is exactly like i am solo mm. but before the show got um the reason why the show got canceled mm. is because there is a girl or guy i don't remember specifically um because you know you're on the dating show you get basically judged by um oh, about what? who you are mm-hmm. by other contestants mm-hmm. i think that guy or girl did not take it really well, mm. and he uh, or she hanged um, her or himself oh in the you know how they live together during mm. the the dating show, yeah. during the filming. Yeah, <gasps> someone Holy committed crap. suicide on so, the show. Yeah, so that show wow. was super popular, like right now, and it got canceled. And then because you know someone killed himself, so it's very serious. 
So th there is a very long period of um, time then they did not make a new one, and now Iron Solo is back because mm -hmm. it has been a long time. But basically the same PD. Yes. But oh my god. Mm -hmm. Did you ever see that very old Mnet dating show? I forgot the name, but something, something Queen Ka or something. But they switch back and forth between the. It's kind of like a what's the show? The one they have like the the bachelor, the bachelor and bachelorette. It's I like, know that I know the bachelor show in English. Right, right. right. So we had the the bachelor and then a bunch of potential guys. Uh -huh. So it's like basically that format, but uh, the main person, the queen ka, is you know the one girl, and then on, there's gonna be there's a bus. There's a bunch of contestants, and one by one, each guy will come out of the bus and meet up with the girl and go on a date with her. And the thing, the crazy, I, I, I really wish I remember the name of the show, but it was the most ridiculous format because one, they both, they did the most random shit for um, going on dates with the, the people. They, they would go to like, I don't know. I remember they went to some kind of like, it was this clinic for like measuring how badly you smell or some shit like that. Just like really random shit. Okay. Uh, not typical dating stuff. Uh, there was one where they went to some boxing ring it was the most random shit. But the thing about the show is that if a person comes out of the bus, the bachelorette or the bachelor, as soon as they see the contestant, they can tell them to leave if they don't like the way they look. Wow, that's cruel. And there have been so many times where the the show barely even started and they're still at the first location. One person comes out, they're like, eh. Ew, that's not They make not, them go back into cute. the bus. Yeah. A second person comes out, they're like, eh. Third person comes out. And they, I'll be like, <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm sorry. Yeah. That's not. That's but the thing is, uh -huh. they keep going on dates throughout the whole day, mm -hmm. and the the people on the bus are monitoring everything. They're watching. I, I think. No, are they? I don't remember. But anyway, they're they're still in the bus, so they're chatting with each other. But basically, if someone comes up and they you like the way they are or the first impression, then you go on a date. And you keep going on dates with them until something happens where, mommy andro, like you you you're kind of like oh, you're, eh, you feel red like flag or you, you feel turn off. Right? And so there's some times where they go on a date with one person the whole time and the rest of the people can't go on a date with them. So it's a waste of casting. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. But it's the most ridiculous shit ever. I really wish, if I can remember the name, I'll try to put it in the video. But to be honest, it was fucking entertaining. That was not your favorite show. You could never that kind of show, and this is old Mnet. Mm -hmm. We thought we hate Mnet. We hate Mnet now, mm -hmm. girl. Back then, Mnet was fucking crazy. I love, I love CJ's all CJ channels. You could channels. never have that type of show now. It's very people are, yeah. people are too would be too it would be too controversial. Yes, mm. uh, there was one episode where the guy it was bachelor style, where mm -hmm. the main person was a guy and the contestants were girls. Um, very effeminate looking, lots of surgery. Tall, skinny, you know, the, at the time, skinny jeans with like the, the coat, you know, you know, you know, the fashions, I know. the K-drama actor, the vibe with like the coat, the collar that's like, you know, everyone that got off the bus, <laughs> as soon as they saw him, they were like, but why would they invite them to, exactly. to they, they don't know so what the, uh -huh. they don't know what the main, the bachelor, the bachelor lo even looks uh -huh. like, uh -huh. they're just on there simply because they, and at the time it wasn't really about getting clout okay. or getting famous for SNS. It was literally just purely. Or maybe they just want to be on TV, but Let me see. Um, my favorite show. I'm not sure you have watched it, but mm -hmm. it's so iconic. I love it. It's called You Are Cut Off. Have you watched it? You Are Cut Off. The show is called You Are Cut Off. Reality As you explain show. that, I'm gonna try to look for the show. I was just talking about. Okay, so You Are Cut Off. Uh, I think it's, it's a by American TV. So basically, the show's concept is there are a, lot, a bunch of spoiled rich girls who their daddies are super rich, like biological ah. daddy, not it's sponsor. Called, it's called Ache Han Soketing. Uh, anyway, go back to what you were saying. Um, so the the show is basically their their the fathers uh, of the the daughter. Yes. Got sick of how um the spoiled the daughters are, mm -hmm. so they send them to this show called You Are Cut Off, and uh, the the You Are Cut Off has a uh, life coach, so they will actually force the girls to live in this camp by themselves and teach okay. them how to how to live how to mm. live a normal people's life okay. they ask them to work in the like, fast food chains and they ask them to take off their makeup you know the funny thing is the life coaches they ask the girl to stand in front of a mirror now i'm asking you to take off your makeup <laughs> look through yourself through the mirror wait what, what country is this from and it's from the states uh, yeah so why you, are they giving you an english accent uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, it's uh, just how smoothly how smooth the life coach mm. voice is but to be honest a lot of these american shows sometimes have you are uh, british hosts oh okay uh, anyway and then she was like look yourself in the mirror you should uh, accept uh 
about you know your the real face mm -hmm. of your yourself and, um, and that's your true beauty like basically something say something really I think basic I've heard of this yes and the the, the girls in the interview was like oh, Laura did not even take off her makeup when I you know when she asked me to take off mine uh. like, why would I listen into her uh. like, that's I love the show it's so funny there I, I feel like um, is it kind of like the simple life with a very the, similar but with other girls yes pretty rich girls that have to do mundane regular things yes mm. I just find it so entertaining like how they um, they, they went to like hot dog restaurants and they have to do like you know how in American fast food man they have to flip do, burgers not flip burgers. what is this the, do you know the, how like <laughs> how, how what joker like mm. how they have to no. you know there's a huge uh, sign of the restaurant that has oh to yeah they play have to, around it yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. To, there's like come to into this uh get some hot dogs I don't know how the fuck this okay cool you're flipping the sign but I don't even know what your business is if you keep flipping <laughs> the sign but it gets your attention I guess it gets your attention. So, <laughs> have you ever met those? I've seen it all the time in America. Oh, yeah, they're literally standing in the corner of the street, just flipping their side. They got their AirPods in. They're just oh. flipping the side over and over. And I'm like, sis, like, great and everything, but ooh, I don't know what the fuck you're, what business you're trying to promote. Well, <laughs> but the person is performing next to the restaurant. Don't don't you just immediately just look at the restaurant? Not always. Sometimes a little bit. Like, there's a lot of different businesses oh. in a certain area, so you don't know exactly which one it is. Oh. It's very similar to how in the old Korean day, like old days in Korea, mm -hmm. uh, if there is a new restaurant or so, let's say jewelry shop opening, um, they will hire two very short, uh, sh so sh sleeveless and sh miniskirt dressed dancer girls to oh, dance in it? front of. Really? Th this appears to a lot of Korean um, dramas and movies that portrays like. Korea in the early 2000s uh, like if, if there's a store opening there would be like two very sexy dressed girls mm -hmm. dancing in front of dancing to a really like old music like trot uh, like trot music but, mm, yeah. but now we have ajumas <laughs> in regular petting passing out gym, gym flyers yeah gym flyers and the way they're very so aggressive yeah they're like they'll be like get this and uh yeah so at this point uh, I just take it, it I, even though I'm gonna throw it away it's wild <sighs> oh Korea how have they're you know. always at the exit, sta the station exits, mm -hmm. and then the way In they're station. The, the way they're ominously standing at the top of the stairs, waiting for you to come up. It's so like, for me, I always try to stand behind someone because they're going to try to give the first person the flyer first, and it, that way I can kind of avoid. Or, or charities ask you to to put to to uh, put on stickers off their wall. Oh yeah, you know is that? that is that for like uh you choose one thing? Yeah, they like, and then you, oh, it's like a poll. Yeah, charity. Yeah, I think they're a charity or something. I never because. The people, the people invests mm -hmm. girl i do everything i'm just like sorry sorry do you know why i never answer to them mm. because uh, one time i came out from this uh, the station of uh, isu station mm -hmm. because i was going to watch a movie in megabox which is the movie theater uh, there and then my friend was did not arrive yet so i was waiting in front of the station and then a guy approaches to me uh, there's question there's, one was he mm -hmm. hot He's he's unfortunately not sexually attractive for me. Mm. Yeah, but he's a, a cute human being. Anyhow, because <laughs> <laughs> mm. he is. I very, gotta ask. He's similar to my age, so mm. I sort of let my guard down. I and, cool. and then he's like, "Do you like tomato?" And I was like, "Well, uh, I was like, uh, I do like tomato." I said, you should have been like, "No, but I love cock." <laughs> you got cock. <laughs> You got a big fat cock for maybe me? Maybe not your cock, but yeah. Oh, yeah. Maybe not yours, but... Not yours, but like, if you know somebody. Ha! <laughs> That's literally what I would say. Yeah. No, I'm <laughs> saying, he, he was like, do you like tomato? But the question was really random, mm -hmm. but I thought he is a so just an innocent, naive university student doing random street survey. So I was like, yeah, I, I would help him. I thought, yeah, I like tomato. And he said, thank you for answering my question. If um, I, I will ask you too. If you think about tomato, what's the first thing that came out from your head? Ketchup. You guys can think about too. When you think about tomato, what's the first thing that you can? Ketchup. Ketchup? I said sex. You're fucking insane. <laughs> Did you literally tell him sex? Yes. Why? I said sex because. But to be honest, the, kind of, the nature of that question almost makes you want to say it. Yes. Yeah. Even, even if it wasn't tomato. Yeah. Just like, what's the first thing you think of? It almost, I just want to say sex automatically. Because I'm a very end person. So tomato how plump how seductive the color is uh, it's almost forbidden like an apple so i thought of the red apple and the red apple is a, sem a symbol of forbidden the forbidden you know in the evil garden and like sex okay. you know and then the person was really shocked he was like yeah 
I can tell. And then did, did you literally say the word sex? Yeah, I said songyo. <laughs> yeah, I said sex. I said, but I, I, I didn't say <laughs> it in a. I didn't say it in a um, sexually harassment way. I said it like in a sex. Yeah, 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 like that. Because I'm, I'm, because I was thought he was a university student. I was helping him, helping him, and he's like, what? And then he turns <laughs> over. He got like a little bit um, shocked, mm-hmm. and then he said. Um, I've been no, waiting for you. Yeah. <laughs> he said, "You know, normally when we ask um, about tomatoes, people think about other things. But um, thank you for your answer. But here's another piece of information you didn't know about uh, tomato. Because how red tomato is, mm. um, tomato people think used to think tomato tomato is poisonous. Mm. However, the first person who who dared to eat the tomato found out how delicious and how nutritious it is. Mm. So later on, we are all are eating tomato together. And I was listening to this piece." Of information, I'm like, okay, what are you trying to say? Do you know, what's do you know? the point? Yeah, what's the point? I so was like, what, what was the point? Yeah, and then he brought bring out a flyer. He said, I go, he said, our church. Ah! Oh, fuck that. It's just like this tomato. Girl. We got misunderstood a lot, but if you want just to come once, then you would know how you know good the church is and how friendly our people are. Girl, I'm gonna come once, but it's not gonna be at your church. Yeah, it's gonna be on your fucking face. <laughs> Maybe not him. <laughs> <laughs> he, uh, he, uh, yeah. Wow. You gotta give right. it to him though. You gotta the give build up. The build, honestly, Everything. yeah. Clap for him. Yeah, clap for him. That's just uh, cause he when, let when my guard this? down. This was a few years ago, a long time ago. Oh. This is pro uh is it before corona? Mm. Yeah. I'm sure as soon as you met up with your friend, you you told them that I story. I told him that story. I'm like, what the fuck? I met this weird that, 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 church Edward dude. Soul. <laughs> Eddie and Soul, that's the type of story time I wanna see. <laughs> yeah, but you know what? This is, is kind of related to Corona because the flowers I can see it says Shincheonji on it. Shincheonji is the you know the church outbreak that sort mm. of spread spread yeah. the the oh, virus Shincheonji? in Korea. Yeah. yeah, yeah. If you guys don't know, Shincheonji is the um the the very one of the most powerful cult mm. church in Korea because yeah. they got uh, they got hands at the government too. Yeah, they have the they even have connection to the government mm-hmm. um, because Shincheonji means new. Um, New world. Well, but, you're not, if you're hot, you're gonna fuck me. I don't care. <laughs> well, I'm Did you just. Watch the, um, what more? Oh no, never mind. I'm. I'm just yeah, I know, warning I, you guys not I, to. I knew you were gonna say anything important after that. Well, just warning you guys not to answer any random people. The people on the that say hi to you and try to ask you for drinks or like, you know, let's cut, let's go over here, girl. They're getting advanced. Usually, yes. oh, I don't speak English, girl. It's usually an ajuma and then an older girl, or, uh, and then a younger girl. But they can speak English now. They can't speak English now? They're like, oh, it's okay. They're educated. Like, Fuck. I don't want your goods or services. <sighs> if you have a boyfriend for me, okay, maybe. Oh. I would just simply tell them to back off. Yeah. And if they bother me again, I'll be like, okay, that's just not graceful. I'm sorry. They I'm pull a gun out and they shoot you in the face. I deserve, because you I deserve to die. Like yes, that, yeah. yes. What that's just... <laughs> that's just... That's not a ladylike uh, thing to do. It really wasn't. So I'm, I'm surprised you did even did I, that word. I, it's just you know I'm very uh, suppressed. So oh, yeah, I think when it comes out, it comes out too much. <laughs> you know, you, you got a lot of little bits, but you're just like, <laughs> yeah. You know how those um, really well well educated kids mm-hmm. that grew up in a sort of like church family and the parents are doctors or them. yeah, a lawyers and their ch- their child really- goes crazy. Mm-hmm. That's they me. always be like, but honey, the second you get them in bed. Fucking wild. They're wild and they're crazy. Wild bitch. Yeah. They're the kinds that don't care about your comfort. <laughs> All these people, I, uh, I, well, I, you know, I, I'm bless you. I hope you have a good life. And uh, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just your parents. And that's how we're gonna end today's episode. No, that's not. It is because I'm tired, Edward. I want to go home. But is, we have. We should talk about maybe thirty minutes. Oh, uh, <laughs> excuse you. Just, just ten minutes more. <laughs> How about I give you a, a tea story? Give me a tea story? Yeah, I think then you, you will get very excited. Does it have to do with dating? No, this is about... Um, Save that for, for the next one. Celebrity. It's a very short. Save it for the next... <laughs> okay, what? Because I just, I just feel bad for it. You know? Feel bad for what? It's, you we, don't feel bad that I have to sit there editing this shit all day, every day? Okay. Then maybe I'll talk about it in the next episode. Yeah, save it for the next one. That way, yeah, that could be the starter. 
Okay, so because I feel like today was a very good episode for just talk about dating shows, uh-huh. talk about Shin Junji. Mm-hmm. There was something I was going to talk about earlier, but I forgot already. Yeah, you said that when twice. You were talking about I know two dimension. Because you, uh, I, I was going to say, it, but I didn't want to interrupt you, so I just I was like, I'm going to talk about this when he's done. But then I so forgot. you never listen to me. You just uh, you just getting ready to talk about your topic. No, it was only like a flash of a second. Oh, okay. Then you said you you were going to talk about something. Then you saved on Reddit. We already talked about that. Then what is it, Edward? I'm just so curious. You know what? Fun fact: ginkgo nuts is really good for memory loss. And if it looks like neither of us are taking them because <laughs> our memory still failed, <laughs> we should order some ginkgo nuts online. <laughs> yeah. Are you the type that will like, if you see the hot new like health item, trendy health item, you pick it up? Oh, the most recent one is noni. You know, noni. Noni. N o n i. Noni. It's a uh, fruit. That you know, people either you eat it in a capsule or you eat it in a liquid form. Mm-hmm. Um, it got popular because the Korean broadcast like TVs are uh, promoting it very, very um, aggressively to elders, and then it got really popular around among the um, mom and pop's generation, mm-hmm. and then it comes down to the younger mm-hmm. generation. No, so what is it for? It's for overall immune system. It. it just uh, makes your immune system to be stronger and extend life mm-hmm. apparently but there's no later on people realize there's no um, a very strong paper that stands for yeah. the theory of how helpful noni can be now, what is that most the, trendy yeah that's why I don't follow I only take probiotics and omega 3 and I Omega 3, I can't even catch up because sometimes it got too lazy. <laughs> Honestly. You, you take the pill form? Yes. That big ass pill? Oh, it, Sis. It, got stu- you know, it never got stuck to my throat. It, but but it, it, the way it hits the side yes, of the throat, I hate I that. I hate feeling. it. Yes. I hate it. It's like, oh, oh, oh. yeah. Yeah. There's no other form of it. There's a no liquid version. Liquid of Omega 3? That would be super oily because it's oil. I'd rather take the oil than have to swallow a fucking pill. Apparently, some people have G-spot in their throat, so people might I enjoy. still fight you over that, Edward Avila. Or Edward Avila. You're not, I'm Edward Avila. I still fight you over that. Uh-huh. And you know you know what, Beth? I, um, you know, in some of your videos, because you were talking about me, mm-hmm. and it's like, uh, I'm giving this to Edward. Or Edward gave me this. Or Edward recommended me recommended mm-hmm. this. I sort of thought of if someone doesn't know doesn't know who I am and then um, just <laughs> talk about myself yeah, I just bumped like a into crazy person yeah, <laughs> just, just, you someone just bumped into your video by algorithm and uh, you're like hey guys this is Edward and then and you know, Edward gave me this <laughs> you know I, yeah I realized that these days I literally talk because I'm really just talking to my subscribers uh-huh. I'm not really trying to appeal to anybody new uh-huh. so I talk to my the camera as if it's just people I've always known mm-hmm. so I think that's a, I don't know if that's a good practice to do as a YouTuber uh-huh. I know mo- a lot of people just be like welcome to my channel if you're new here I don't really like, like doing that mm, you don't you never do that yeah I never do that <laughs> but, but yeah I just realized that I knew that people know but probably know me but it's just funny how if you think about it I also do have Bunny and Cherry I talk about Bunny and Cherry as yes. if like it's like some kind of probably some like make-believe friend that you know <laughs> Well, Bunny and Cherry. Um, There's nothing to say about that because we already talked about it so many times how it's canceled. It's yeah, over. I I really miss up on you know putting a wig putting on. A wig on. Just uh, the other day, I threw away all the wigs. It was did? so liberating. Oh my god! Not all of them, like a few of them. It's like a woman throwing away her corset. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, the corset. I kind of wanted to talk about Naple Kids. Na uh? Naple Naple Kids. Naple Kit. Naple Kids. Kiss. Kiss. Nipple it, kiss? I think, it's, I think it's nipple. Nipple kiss? Kids. Nipple kids? Yeah. What the I, fuck is a nipple kid? I think it's nipple kids. It's the... the uh-huh. Nipple babies? Nipple baby, sorry. Girl, what the... I was like, nipple kids? <laughs> so, what? Oh my god. Apparently, I need some ginkgo oh. nuts. I need some ginkgo nuts. What about the nipple babies? Uh, Because someone... Nipple you know, kids? How, how, <laughs> not nipple. I'm sorry. Nipple babies? Nipple babies. Nipple babies. Uh-huh. Forgive me, my um, you know, I'm from China. Anyway, um, <laughs> you know how Anton from Rise, mm-hmm. he uh, recently performed with his father, uh-huh. yeah, during a during a mu- music festival mm-hmm. or something in that nature. Mm-hmm. In Rise officials' um, Instagram account, and people were leaving a comments on the how the picture of him yeah, and his, his dad. Yeah, the comment goes, "Naple baby." In Korean? In, in, no, in English. Mm. English. And the official account has answered, born this way by Lady Gaga. <laughs> and I don't think that's a good good re- response because born this way refers... They literally just typed out? Yeah. Born this yeah, way by, by Lady, Lady Gaga. Gaga. Yes. Like literally just that? Literally, literally just that. Wow. Yes. Do you think the person running the account was didn't realize they didn't switch their secret account? <laughs> 
Why the fuck would you type that from the official? It is from the official account. Wow. Yeah, I don't mind like Naples baby or anything. Mm. I think people like privileged people. They are gonna be if they're famous then. Yeah, there there must be. A Are you sure it's not one of those accounts that looks like SM's account? But because these days you can buy the blue check mark. No, it's literally because I think it, it was on the uh, Korean like, gossip <laughs> news. Korean gossip. That's why I, I saw it. Oh my because god! Because the rise, the rise uh, official account has born this way by Lady Gaga. I was like, girl, what's your suggesting? But also, that doesn't make any sense. Born this way, what? Because uh, he does not mind people saying that he's a Napo baby mm-hmm. and he's owning it. Ah, uh, he's owning. Okay. Yes. Uh, mm. So he it shows how much he doesn't care about the accusation. Yeah. He shouldn't yeah. Care. yeah. The, but the fact is, he's he's just a, he's working hard being an idol. What's the? But the thing is, born this way is sort of LGBT, don't you think? Yeah. Yeah. That was like, why would you use that <laughs> reference? Why would you use that reference? Because it, it might get people to misunderstood. Yeah. Things, right. Yeah. But honestly, there's a lot of idols. Mm-hmm. A lot of idols get into the companies because of connections. Yeah. And so what is he gonna do about it? Yeah. So maybe we should talk about Naples Baby next time because there's so many Naples Baby babies. Good, eh? Yeah. Mm. I think that's a fun. Like, um, there will be Kylie Jenner. The oh, I thought you might be Korean K- entertainment. Mm, Korean Sunny. entertainment. <laughs> Love Sunny. Sunny's not even the like the direct daughter or anything. It's just, it? Yeah, it's just uh, the Choka. Close enough. Yeah, close enough. Giselle. Giselle, love Giselle. 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 You know, Giselle's only. I love Giselle. Giselle's oh, she's a killing kill. it. Yeah, she's killing it. People be talking sh- bad shit about her, but honestly, if I was her, I don't give two fucks. I, I'd be like, I'm the one to ask my bitches, mm-hmm. and I'm the one with the Givenchy, the Givenchy contract. I think they so. stop doing it. I'll get it. Yeah, yeah but, but but it's not because um, they are not giving. I feel like, to be honest, I th- I think Givenchy is not giving. If it you really look at the design, it. yeah. To be honest, any even what was it Rise is like the new Louis Vuitton. Yes. It makes none of that shit makes sense to me. I, yeah, it's right? so weird. I feel like um, the SM purposely to uh, let them to be the ambassador of Louis Vuitton to actually make their image to become. Oh, better. of course, it's all about the image. Yes, it's all about the image of the money. Mm-hmm. Like it doesn't matter whether or not it looks good with them or not. New jeans and all those fucking luxury brands. Yes. makes not a lick of sense to me. But only the only group that makes sense, just in my opinion. Please don't attack me. I think Blackpink. Oh, honey. Yeah, I th- absolutely. I do, yeah, I do think they, they deserve Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Yeah. Walking Chanel? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Walking, was it Celine? Uh-huh. Yes, ma'am. But other group, I I think they should get a I little bit. I would say Dior and Jisoo, though, is a little uh-huh. bit like random to me. Uh-huh. But honestly, she looks so fucking good in her music video. Yes. She looks so good. Yeah. But other group, I feel like they're they um they haven't debu- like they haven't had a lot of debut years, mm-hmm. and they're very young mm-hmm. too. And their target target audience they're is so, so young. young. And then these brand luxury brands are so old and expensive. And the the vibe, if even if, if, if you look at the roster of like celebrity mm-hmm. um endorsement models, they're all mature images. Yes. And then Kapchagi, I don't know, or we have like. Got no time to lose. I, I get it. They they want to bring awareness, even though it not it might not bring up the sales mm-hmm. because uh, the target audience is uh, younger and does mm-hmm. not have a lot of economic power. So mm-hmm. I heard they are just want to have enough exposure to the uh, young audience now. So when they grow up, when they it. have the money, they will buy That's it. That's crazy. Mm-hmm. That's wild. I understood why they did it mm-hmm. as a marketing move. However, I just don't feel like um, expose too much luxury products and yeah. to the young children. It's sort of like brainwashing them to honestly. Yeah. Well, well, I remember when I was younger. You know, I would just shop at you know Adidas and Nike, even though they I'd don't be have at Hollister. Size. I love Hollister. Aeropostale. Yeah. American Eagle. The funny thing, uh, American Eagle, not really. I'm sorry. I loved American Eagle. <laughs> really? I yeah. don't like American Eagle. I feel like I don't like Aeropostale. Oh, I no, I don't like Aeropostale. I think American Eagle and Aeropostale, the same price. I'd rather just shop at uh, Hollister because the similar price. No, it's not. No, no. Hollister's a little bit more expensive. Oh, really? Than yeah, yeah. Okay. It's like Hollister's up here. Okay. It was always Abercrombie Fitch, Hollister, American Eagle, and Aeropostale, I see. and then Gap and Old Navy. <laughs> If you guys still have lived in Canada, I love the brand Ca- Campus Crew. Campus Crew? Do you, is that American? Uh, Canadian? I don't know because I only shop at Brandy Melville. So. One size only. <laughs> I mean, Korea. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you eat uh, just one more bowl of Shilamyeon, uh, then you might not fit into it. Brandy Melville. <laughs> I you love know, how in Korea. Uh, I, I bought underwears from Brand, Brandy Melville. Really? They have, they have sleep sleeping pants, mm-hmm. which are super cute and looks like a man's underwear. So I bought it. Great. Yeah, and it fits me perfectly. Oh. It's very, very cute. It, it looks like a 
baby's diaper underwear, what? but in a in a larger form. It's just cute. Granny's undies. Sort of like that. Yeah, it's giving. I like it. Check All it right, out. So I guess Edward wears Granny's undies now. Well, um, if you don't like Brandy Mel, maybe shop at Forever Twenty One because it still exists in the states. Maybe. Yeah. Remember Forever Men? Oh my God, Girl, Forever Men! I don't shop trash. there. Forever Men is trash. Yeah, it looks like a fuck boys in the cheap club would wear. Oh my God, if you're wearing Forever Men, Forever Man, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I apologize. It's just uh, yeah. Just, I think H&M is better and or Zara. 